10, 9. That's where I'm at. Okay, I'm at. I, my countdown is done. <laughs> so it's, Five, four, it's beginning. Three. All right, so Xbox. We're close enough, I think. Xbox channel. All right, I want to see a, a new game first, for the love of God. <laughs> True. No one in a business suit, with. please, Sorry. please. I was going to make a sandwich. What? Okay. Let's do it. What do I think about heroes? Well, we've all seen them, haven't we? Swanning about the place. Hope for the armored the core stuff. Ar armored core would almost definitely be, uh, would have been this? at the Bandai <laughs> thing, which was Game Awards. Or not Game Awards, uh, Summer Game Fest. Living it up with the common folk every single night. What what is this guy's name? I, I can't remember. Dave. Wait, Dave? Oh no, uh, Richard Ayawade. Yes, that that's I meant the actor. Mythical creatures. Sorry, Dave. New fucking Dave. Wafters. Yeah, well done. You see, I'm not here to slay legendary beasts. Wait, wait, is this Fable? To conquer the vegetable. Yeah, I'm thinking that or oh yeah, Legacy DLC. The age of. Heroes is if it's Fable, this I'm about to lose my fucking shit. I fucking world. love Fable. I played Fable 1, but that, that was about it. But it was good. Moment. How's the volume on the stream, chat? I can turn it up a little if needed. Yeah. What? I don't know. This took an unexpected twist. <laughs> oh my god, Dave's the villain? This is a horror? Jill, uh, Jill and the Beanstalk. Oh, it is Fable. Literally. Oh, it is Fable. Whoa, okay. Alright, I'm happy. Alright, my Xbox showcase is over now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be oh, the... so good. There you go, oh my yeah. God. I'm gonna be the oh, token sorry, guy I'm that's happy. actually excited for Starfield. <laughs> <laughs> Mildly. Oh no, I'm I'm excited for that too. To be honest, I like I've been in a huge sci-fi kick recently, especially like say, uh, space stuff. So yeah. Well, you know Todd Howard's gonna gonna give us some heat too. Whether it's good or bad, it it'll be it'll be peak Todd, I'm sure. Oh, definitely, 100. percent I like the look of this so far. Yeah, it looks really nice, like stylish. Yeah. I think I think you all were a little a little higher on uh, the Summer Games Fest than I was, but if this is like a new and promising looking game, I say this is already better than Summer Games Fest. <laughs> wow. Wow. All right. I might have felt better about it if it was like an hour shorter with less of those just like MMOs and gotcha games in the middle. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I hear you with that one. Yeah. In a while. Yeah, John Cartwright tweeted something about that saying it's hard to be excited about a game that gets a one minute showcase in a two hour show. Right. I'm looking for a creature. Huge, sneaky. Teeth like knives. No? Well, hey, how about you guys? No? Nobody? What happens at midnight? Uh-oh. What the fuck Is it him? Oh. I don't know, this, this yeah, dialogue isn't really selling me. Mm -hmm. Kingdom Hearts? What if? This? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Kingdom Hearts 5? <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. No concept of what that gameplay is going to be like, but it looked neat. <laughs> yeah. It looked, it looked very stylized, but um, fucking 
no game, no hype, them's the rules, you know? That's two yeah. games in a row with a giant dude, also, just pointing that out. <laughs> oh my god, the Ooh, Xbox man. showcases us the fucking giant showcase. <laughs> hey! My chat, swear, my chat's talking about ass. boar, so... <laughs> that's what I hear. What did we say earlier? Don't look at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> don't even oh, look at Star don't Wars. even look at my chat. <laughs> They're Battle part of the problem. Free? Oh. Yeah, don't don't look at any chat. No chat is allowed. <laughs> oh, maybe this is the Quantic game. Oh, that'd be cool. Wait, isn't um oh, I guess Ubisoft is or no, is it Ubisoft working on a Star Wars game? I can't remember now. Yeah, there's a lot in the works right now. Yeah. Oh. Looks like I'm huh. all in. A little fluffy act of low. Plot twist, this is heavily inspired by Lord of the Rings Gollum and you play as the little guy the whole time. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> they, they made this ahead of time because they thought Gollum was going to be a <laughs> yeah, yeah. the game. Yeah. Living in a different universe where Gollum is a smash hit. <laughs> Yeah, maybe this is Eclipse, like that's, I think that's a Quantic game, but fuck, I don't know. I've been held back my whole life. <clears throat> and now... Did either of you play uh, Jedi Survivor? I just need a chance to finally no. Be free. Yeah, I didn't I either. To, though. I mean, I, I play on PC primarily, and I heard it's, like, basically still unplayable on PC, so... Offer you a way out, okay? uh, that sucks. Wait, which game? Ship, uh, Jedi Survivor. Sequel oh. of Fallen Order. Yeah, yeah, I actually haven't played Fallen Order either, but I own it, so if I if I get my hands on Survivor, I'll just go play it quick. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of waiting with Fallen Survivor. I'm still... I've been playing Fallen Order. Mm -hmm. Um, stream. I think I've nearly finished it, actually. I don't know. Heard they did fix some of it on PC. Oh, uh, maybe it's better now. It, it was like people with 4090s weren't able to run it though when it launched, which is crazy. Yeah, no, I heard a lot of. I heard they did fix a lot of it. That's though, good. But I don't know how much. I'm not like the biggest Star Wars fan, but I'm glad they're making like story-based Star Wars games like that. I can't believe yeah. that felt like untapped potential oh, for a long time. I'm not gonna lie, I thought that said Star Wars Outlast. It's like, oh, we're getting an Outlast game, but in Star Wars? What the <laughs> hell? <laughs> What's oh, up, Blue Knight? Well, Welcome. Fable, south of midnight. Oh, there is, there is a stage show. Welcome to our first I wasn't sure we'd get one. The Xbox I'm so game happy showcase, about Fable, though, I really am. <laughs> into one of the most I hope it's good. RPGs yeah. Made. I mean, I, play, I love Fable Gaming 2 and is the most 3. Well, Fable 2 was really good. I love Fable 3, though, and that was a terrible it game. Us, and it's just incredibly and one of the most fun. important RPGs that ever made is a Xbox big... Is committed to that's a big the claim for Starfield. I thought she was talking about I thought she was talking about Fable. No, she was talking about Starfield. No, no, she's talking about Fable, obviously. It's a big game, you know? I mean, Fable, like, you know, the... The years we have, have not been kind to Fable, but Fable 1 was a huge deal incredible. when it came out. I thought oh, it really was, was, yeah. are the works of the very greatest creative teams from around the world. I got it world. as my first game for the original we Xbox, and then it was nice. the only game I had for years. <laughs> the largest, most engaged, and globally diverse fan base in Xbox history. You okay, this is just Xbox propaganda. Xbox. Your passion <laughs> yeah. drives us. And you are the inspiration I like to imagine for she came with a blue dress. They're like, <laughs> could you maybe <laughs> come back with a green <laughs> one? <laughs> no, no. Well, I mean, you know, Xbox? she's wearing blue Thank still. You. She got the denim jacket on. This yeah, next she gets fired Thunder after Lotus. the show. It's like, yeah, we saw that. We saw what you tried to pull. Yeah, yeah, we saw your denim jacket, fucking stony bag. Okay. So one of my chat says it feels like she's strangling me while giving this speech. You know what? I kind of feel that. Yeah, it does a bit, doesn't it? <laughs> like, she strapped you to a chair or something, and you're gonna listen to my speech. <laughs> okay, I'm back now. Ooh. Welcome back. Oh. I like this art style. Yeah, it's good. KD3 has to be. <laughs> yeah, confirmed. Oh, Thunder Lotus, they did uh, Spirit Fairer. That's a great game. It also looks like this. <laughs>
This, uh, this looks nice. Yeah, oh, it's almost like uh hell? Where are you guys watching? I feel like I'm behind. I'm watching the official 4K oh, Xbox on YouTube. Yeah. I accidentally watched Game Awards on YouTube. I feel so silly. Yeah, they must oh. be a little behind. Yeah, I had the game Yeah, I had the Game Awards on at the same time. I compared them. It is a few seconds behind. So I'm getting the vibe of like FromSoft co-op just with like a huge player cap. Like <laughs> Cause that, that's kind of what I got out of that, but it looked cool. Man, imagine how sick Elden Ring would be with like eight player co-op. Oh my God. <laughs> that, that would be though, actually. It's that, just- That looked pretty cool. It's just Radon. It's, everything is like Radon where you could summon like 10 people. Oh, <laughs> uh, could you imagine if there was a mod, all enemies oh become God. Radon? Just... <laughs> nutty. Oh shit. What's this? Payday free. Oh, this is, for some reason I was like, oh, Watch Dogs, <laughs> but, but uh, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, Payday 2 was such a fun game, I swear in that game though. Everybody hit the floor! Alright. Am, am I alone in saying the character models aren't, um... Incredible. There's something off about them. Like, am I, am I off about you, that? You honestly could probably tell me this is Payday 2, and I, I'd be like, yeah, sure. Yeah. <laughs> the graphics definitely haven't improved drastically. Yeah, I was also looking at, like, the faces. There's, like, no facial animation. I didn't see any blinking or anything. It Damn, weird. was it? Did I just see wall running? What was that? <laughs> yeah, it did look it, didn't it? It is. That, I just saw it. Yeah, there is wall running in this. Holy shit. Oh, Payday's a movement shooter now? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this will probably be fun. I, I liked I'll Payday too, but I, I kind of I kind of fell off it when it sort of went almost like live service. Like, I, I don't know. I, I just got a little turned off by like all the all the paid content stuff. And I, I just kind of fell off the game. Yeah, it was it was fun, though. Like, I had a good time with it. I probably put like 40, 50 hours into it. September 21st. Oh, very nice. World premiere. Yeah, that's soon. Payday is a very fun game. I want to play Payday 2 now. Anything cool yet? Um, Yeah, actually, it's all been pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, it has. Oh, it's been a good one. Here it is. And here it is. Let's Maybe the go! trailer will be different for, for Xbox, but I'm pretty doubtful. Oh, this is Persona. <laughs> the, rumors are, the rumors are true. The rumors are true. Oh, the trailer in 60 FPS. That's actually really nice. It is, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it'd have to be really, wouldn't it? Um, yeah, it's true. It's kind of the standard. I just got so used to 30 FPS with Persona 5. It looks so good, though. Oh, it does. I'm so excited to play this. <laughs> It's not rumors the entire trailer got leaked. <laughs> the rumors are true. Wow, the exact the trailer. <laughs> oh man, Persona 3 is easily my favorite Persona. It's it's the best one. I I haven't played any Persona games, but I'd really like to. Is 5 a, a decent place to start? Absolutely. It is. Okay, yeah. cool. That's a great. Five is probably the best place to start, assuming you're playing Royal. Yeah, well, it's on. It's just on Game Pass now, so I was like, huh, maybe I'll check it out. If yeah. we don't include, like, you know, the remake that's obviously not out yet, right, I'd say right. three is definitely the best one for the story. Okay. Um, and probably the characters. Four is like just a generically good one oh? overall. People don't like you very much. But five Sweet. is definitely the best for production quality. Is this yeah, avowed? I, Obsidian's been working on like a Elder Scrolls like RPG. This might be it. I believe that it. was guns. <laughs> to 
Okay. Wow, this world looks awesome. That does look cool, yeah. You want us to trust you. But the truth is... Scrolls-like? I like that. <laughs> the way you fight. Yeah, is this, this Mortal Kombat 1? <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I knew it. Finally, the first person mode's been revealed. You're either here to save us. When are they gonna do a first person fighting game? Right? The magic actually looks really fun. Like It does, yeah. This showed some really cool looking stuff. This has to be avowed, I, I assume at least. Because they they've been talking about this game forever without revealing any gameplay. <laughs> Yeah, is this that, wait, is this that game that everyone's like, this is the new Elder Scrolls sort of thing? It definitely looks like the it. The first trailer they showed looked like it, but actually, the, I mean, the gameplay looks similar, but the world looks very, very different. It does. I actually kind of prefer the style of world, I think. There it is. It's Damn. Like Holy shit. All right, that's cool. Oh, about, yeah, that, that looked sick. That looked awesome. Yeah. And they, yeah, I, isn't it pretty in the one that made Fallout New Vegas? Like, the yes. best. Yeah, the, the best yeah. Fallout, exactly. Yeah, okay, that's gonna be good. I also played The Outer Worlds, which was their, like, kind of take on, like, a Fallout, but different. And it was decent. It, it wasn't, like, quite all the way there. Like, it just felt like they didn't have the budget to, like, fully finish it or, or whatever. But, like, the story was yeah. really nice. Um, I, I understand that, yeah. I, I hear a lot of similar things. That the game was, like good but lackluster or something yeah they kind of yeah. like exhausted all of the like mechanics in the first like third of the game and then it just went on for like <laughs> you know way longer Welcome to the I, I, the most I am losing my mind, mind right now i'm not gonna lie <laughs> yeah i was about to say like print are you okay <laughs> no i'm not okay right now i'm what is ship a ship with just a oh my god it's bad the legend of Monkey Island. You mean Governor Guybrush. But Freeport's not set foot out of that mansion for almost a year. Hey, what do you think you're doing? I told you no autographs. Though I see you have a meet and greet ticket. And I guess Never played Sea of Thieves. You get to meet the mighty it's the one Guybrush game people. that I love the and it also makes me Monkey Island. Unrelently angry. Yeah, I can understand that. I've like I've seen clips of people doing insane things in that game, and it makes me want to play it, but I've just never I've just never gotten into it. The hardest part about it is just when you do stuff and then you spend like four or five hours getting a big haul of treasure, and then someone kills you and you lose it all. Yeah, I I can definitely see that. Well, I'm uh, definitely going to be updating Sea of Thieves. <laughs> I mean, this this almost looks like a different game from what I've seen, so that's cool. It seems it like does, it's adding yeah. a ton of stuff. That's a door, yeah. Oh man, that look that's so good. I'm so excited for so that. So soon too. World True. premiere. World premiere. Okay. World. I really hope Capcom shows up. I know they probably won't, but it'd be nice. Yeah, I want to see Dragon's Dogma. I want to see Devil May Cry 6. <laughs> was it Dragon's Dogma was, uh... Wait, was that at Summer Games Fest? No, I'm, I can't even uh, remember. It was World at Premier. PlayStation, I think. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's where it was, like, formally announced, at least. Yeah. I gotta just play the first game, honestly. I've been putting putting it off for too long. What am I looking at here? <laughs> Microsoft Flight Simulator. Oh, Flight Simulator. Yeah. This actually is a pretty uh, stunning level of detail. Oh. <laughs> 
Microsoft Flight Simulator is the next 10 hour stream. Oh yeah. If you guys didn't know, I did 10 hours of Euro Truck Simulator on my stream as a punishment for uh, an Elden Ring challenge. <laughs> So maybe I do need to get into Microsoft Flight Simulator. <laughs> yeah, these trailers always look amazing. This is not my... Not exactly my cup of tea for the most part, but... You're more of a uh, Surgeon Simulator simulator yeah, guy? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> There's just not enough gotcha mechanics in this game for me. True. <laughs> if only they added more gotcha, yeah, I'd buy I this those, heartbeat. Yeah. I need those constant oh, dopamine hits at the expense of my wallet. <laughs> I, I need to get that triple F five star plane that lets you do like a barrel roll. And pretend you're Fox from Star Fox. Oh. Exactly. Wait, what the heck? <laughs> Oh, Star Wars and Flight Simulator? At first I thought it was Dune. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm still kind of, like... Did we see the Star Wars logo? Isn't this something uh, else? Yeah, that's why I was hesitant to continue with Star Wars. It, it is Dune. Oh, it is Dune. Okay, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, this looks like the... the things... I, I don't know what they're called yeah. from Dune. Yeah, I wasn't sure. I was like, oh, it's sort of desert and like sci fi. I was like, I don't know, Star Wars, but it could have been Dune, yeah. It is. With the movies, I feel like it's only a matter of time before we get like a, a open world Dune RPG or something. True. Hi, Melina here, speaking to you from our performance capture stage at Ninja Theory, where we have oh, just wrapped our I forgot about this game. Saga Hellblade 2. When we first showed game I never played the first one, but I hear it's it really good. It's quite a cult yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, I, I played it, and gameplay-wise, it's it's kind of unremarkable, but as like a whole experience, it's it's pretty amazing. Yeah. Today, we're taking you deeper into Senua's story, her personal quest, her unique perspective on the world, and the intimate journey that awaits you in Senua's saga. What you'll see today is all captured by the team on Xbox Series X. This is at Game Awards 2021. At least they're taking yeah, their time with it. Yeah, I mean, I'd rather they take their time with it and it'd be good than yeah. just rush it out. I think the yeah, first exactly. game was kind of more of like a tech demo almost too. Like it is really good, but I think it's more of like a just demonstration of what they could do. It's, yeah. yeah it, even even if it like even if it just comes out like five years later, it's like <laughs> mediocre. It's still better that they took their time with it because you hear a lot worse reception with games that get rushed out than with something that was like Kingdom Hearts three that took ten years and it was like, eh. Yeah. Remember what Iwata said: so a rushed game is bad forever. A good game has gotcha mechanics. <laughs> That's true. I was gonna say I thought that oh, I thought man. that quote was attributed to Miyamoto, but I I think the the original quote isn't even real in the first place. <laughs> oh, anyone else's stream just freeze or that me? Just me. Just you. Okay, we're good. We're back. A good game has gotcha. A great game has gotcha and battle passes. <laughs> <laughs> Mm, so, the Devil May Cry mobile game. Yeah. Yeah, not even one battle pass, multiple battle passes at once. Like, that's fucked up. Okay. Not the biggest fan of the wall buttholes right now. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. What do you got against it? Look, it looks, yeah. it, it's, What's the problem? Hey, you know, what's yeah, what, what wrong with it? I'm here. There's just not enough gotcha mechanics. <laughs> There's a quote from Shigeru Miyamoto oh, I've heard. Well, no, that's, your game, that's the, uh, that's the animation. Your that, that's the gotcha with. machine, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, I'm just what checking. One of them glows gold when you get a five-star, you know? <laughs> <laughs> when does she pull a quarter out of her pocket, throw it in the air and shoot mm, it? That's what I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for. for mm -hmm. What is she supposed to do? Do something. Ask what do you want me to do? Green goes black. 
Hakita presents. <laughs> That wall effect is actually really impressive for Series X. It's really cool. It really is. Yeah. The I'm assuming this isn't fucking pre-rendered, but honestly, with the way it looks, I'm just going off of what she said. Captured on Series X. Yeah. Like, it's technically still captured if it's pre-rendered. No, no way. I don't believe it anymore. That's... Yeah, this is Hellblade 2. Um... Yeah, well, this is pre-rendered though, right? I like don't. She she said it wasn't. I, I I don't know. <laughs> well, she said it was captured on Series X, but if they play a video, <laughs> then the capture X, it. It's technically, technically yeah, captured. Yeah, true, true, true. Like, no, I think this is. I think this is pre-rendered. I mean, I played the first game on PC, but this is kind of what it looks like. I mean, it, it, I'll be at worst because it's a few years older, but like it, it does look really impressive still. Yeah. yeah. But that's PC, so. I'm just really looking for like anything, like any jagged edges, like just so I can see a one polygon. No, this is not Forspoken, chat. <laughs> this is this is Hellblade. Is this the new Phasma update? <laughs> I will not let them down. She is ready. They know. Go. Who are these around you, Sanoa? Oh, Bioshock. Okay. Oh. Are you? Are you? Persona <laughs> Three? Are you ahead of me now? What happened? No. I, I was. She fell in the water. Oh. <laughs> I was like, wait, Bioshock? What the hell? <laughs> I got a little worried after my stream froze. I was like, <laughs> did I get behind? Watch this be Bioshock. Dead Island 3. Dead or alive, I think. No. What? Another fucking. Uh, no, yeah, another Yakuza, Yakuza game? Yakuza, Yakuza 8 now, isn't it? Wow. They can't stop pumping these games out. Holy shit. There's like. And somehow they're all good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, okay. <laughs> Uh oh. TOS, TOS, TOS. <laughs> why is no one like. Why, why is no one like calling out the naked man? Yeah, why is everyone like. Why is everyone like Normal stumbling day. like they're drunk? Yeah. Is I he? Love the lotion said perfect protection. Yeah, I know, right? Okay, someone has noticed. <laughs> oh my god! A stranger! Is he in America? <laughs> oh shit, he is. That, oh, he wait, is? this could be yeah. hilarious. <laughs> yeah, dude. <Hang> loose, bro. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, I'm not American. Is this how people usually react to streakers in America? No, not at all. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Can't say I've ever experienced it personally. <laughs> At least not at like a beach or something. Infinite wealth. Wow, okay. <laughs> they can't stop pumping out these games. Holy shit. Yeah, for real. They fucking they got like 20 in development right now. What the hell? I really gotta play them, because if I don't start playing them, there's gonna be so many I'm not gonna be able to play them all. I haven't played any of them yet, and every day that goes by makes it more overwhelming to start playing those games. <laughs> so what's coming to Fallout 76 now? Did you ever play this, Nick? Nah. Did, eh? no? nah, even, even a um, self-proclaimed Bethesda apologist, uh, I, I, won't, I won't dig into this game. I'm just not interested. No, Are you, um... You're probably watching PC Gaming Show, eh? Yeah, yeah, um, and I'll- You saw what Dave Osh retweeted? He said, yeah, New Blood's not gonna be there, but that's usually a pretty good show anyways, like, lots of good indie games and stuff. Yeah, I'm kinda looking forward to Demon School, but I'm still, like, 50-50 on whether or not I'm gonna end stream before or after it. That's alright, I'll probably- I'll probably watch it either way, so, but if you're still around, we can- we can watch it together. Oh, yeah. Think you've seen it all, eh? Well, how about this? What games have appeared already? There's actually been a lot. 
Yeah, maybe around 10 or so, 10 or 12. Pretty because we're headed for the boardwalk of Atlantic Can we see gameplay? So there you have I mean, this is this is Fallout 76, you know. to be fair. Yeah, <laughs> Most people know how this game dark. plays. Land your waist home. And when you hear adventure calling, when you're looking for some kicks, answer the call of Vault. Answer the call of Vault. Answer the call of Vault 76. Play it now with Xbox. Oh, this is literally just an ad for Fallout 76. It's not even okay. There is DLC coming soon, <laughs> but still. World premiere. That was the worst trailer of this whole show. Yeah, I, I just zoned out. Yeah. Mm. Avowed again? <laughs> oh. Oh, Capcom. Hmm. Shit. Finally, oh, Devil May Cry. Oh, is this, uh. Ghosts and Ashton Goblins? Death. Let's go. I kind of get in Ghosts and Goblins vibes from some of this, or. Looks cool. I'm trying to. Th what else acts like this? I'm really praying it's Devil May Cry. I know it's a oh, fucking long shot. Wait, is this on that movie? No, wait, was, is this on. Is on Amisha Capcom? I can't remember now. I think it was, wasn't it? Uh, God, I can't remember. This is a really neat style. It is, yeah. Yeah. Like Capcom has presence here. Yeah, I thought they were doing their own uh, their own showcase. Yeah. It seems like well, people they announce probably... new games at shows, but for the showcase, they just do updates. That's oh, it. okay. Yeah, that's what I thought as well. They'll, they'll announce things and then they'll just go more in depth in them on their own thing. Which I actually I like that. I I prefer that. Combat looks pretty cool. It does. It looks really flashing, like stylish. I really want to say it's on a mooship, but I also really don't think it is. It looks oh. it's very new, different. New IP, I guess. It I probably it is. Yeah. yeah. I've, never, I've okay. never heard of it. All right. Yeah. No. Um, no Ari idea. Engine. Still praying that Devil May Cry shows up. But you know I'm delusional. It's fine. The fuck is the title? Yeah, JRPG titles are like the the weirdest thing in existence. <laughs> I can never, I can never General seem to Motors wrap my head around why they get called what they're called. Is embodied in two of its iconic brands, Chevrolet and Cadillac. And what happened? Because I don't know about you, but my stream just glitched, and I'm getting a General Motors ad. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah. To a whole new level. It's not, it's not an Xbox showcase, it was showcase without cars, you know? The legendary uh, I guess Corvette so, holy. Yeah. Celebrated champion you remember when, I think it was when the Xbox One was first tradition. revealed, they bought a fucking, like, General Motors live, like, one-of-a-kind car on stage. It's like, look at this. No one can get it, though. <laughs> yeah. Forza Motorsport and General Motors are pairing their strengths and technical excellence. Car game, and I sleep. <laughs> modern design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, take really. Bold steps into the future and bring that experience to gamers. Real person comes on stage and talks about bold steps into the, the future. I sleep. And the e I only care about car games if they have a blue hedgehog or an Italian plumber on them. So true. But when does Sonic Drift 3 come? The gamers need to know. Exactly, it's just important. Okay. I know you're what is your favorite you kart racing game? I'm very curious. Sonic um, and Sega All Stars Racing Track. Okay, I've, I've never played that, but I'll have so to. That's my. Prince Vote, that's mine on PC. On console, it's Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel. Okay, that that is a very good one. I I, I go back and forth with uh, with my wife all the time on this because because she loves Crash Team Racing, um, and I'm yeah. a big uh, I, I'm a big uh, Diddy Kong Racing fan. <laughs> oh, that game ruled. Goodness. Wow, what a 
that's a game I was not expecting to hit. Yeah, it ruled. Holy it ruled. Shit. It's also uh, Lego Racers. So Lego Racers like, Loki was amazing. <laughs> it was. Holy shit, that game was so fucking good. I had that on Game Boy Color. <laughs> yeah. Soon to be uh, all put to shame by Bloodborne Cart. Oh, let's go. Oh, yeah, that's coming soon. Or New Blood Cart as well. <laughs> oh, yeah, that one too. We're, we're not joking about either of these prints. They're, they're both real things. Like, Bloodborne oh, yeah. Cart is like. Oh, no, um, I have, I have, I've seen like a little trailer of that, yeah. Yeah. What was that, Forza? I stopped looking. Yeah, it was Forza. Yeah, it's Forza. Wow. Oh, here we go. Time for the rest of the two hours. Man, Starfield looks weird. <laughs> Is this Elder Scrolls Online? Yeah, it's gotta be. Oh yeah, they're, they're doing the new expansion. I forgot about that. Satan? This ain't no starfish. I assume you don't read chat today? I just read your message. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn. Put them in their place. <laughs> For perhaps the first time in my unending <laughs> existence, I feel disconnected from fate's flow. Unseen forces. Could you imagine if this was a uh, Elder Scrolls Blade long awaited update? <laughs> Oh my god, yeah, they really just announced that game so that people wouldn't be mad about Fallout 76 and then I never heard anything else about it again. I don't even know if it's still going. Like, yeah, I'm looking it up right game. now. Elder Scrolls. Blades, Blades, yeah. Let me see the last time they updated Mobile it. Mobile game. The thing is as well, I genuinely thought about that game like a few weeks ago, but I couldn't remember the name of it. They made Fallout Shelter too, which actually was kind of fun. Yeah, I have heard better things about Fallout better. Shelter. Yeah. I reckon I'd like it, yeah, so I just <laughs> couldn't really like play it because I had a terrible PC. This looks like shit. Well, it's Elder Scrolls Online, so at this point, you probably either play Elder Scrolls Online or don't, and I don't think anything they show you is going to change that. Yeah. <laughs> MMOs are hard to, uh, like, grab no, anyone. Yeah. Except for the fans. And you kind of just need to play one, like, because <laughs> they're so time-consuming. Yeah, exactly, yeah. PvE we're not getting? Haha. <laughs> I guess this is the first hero mission they're going to show off. Damage is done, though. Yeah, I... Well, if they were just like, haha, tee -hee, we were just joking, uh, PvE. <laughs> nah, because they said this August, there's no way they'd pull that. Like, I could totally yeah. see them doing that, but... This no, is this is like the neutered PvP, right? Because they're or PvE, because they're still doing something for it, right? Like they just scrap yeah, the lights. Yeah, it's one mission. Yeah, and you get like a selection of characters to choose from, like a rotating like mission mode sort of thing. Not even. Oh, uh, <laughs> will be. That, I have I, I have never played this game, so I I feel like I shouldn't have strong opinions on it, but I do still, anyways. <laughs> Do PvP mode. Time to create peace with bullets. Oh. Go oh, up a vent. There it is. Here, I'm just gonna refresh my stream because it, it now all of a sudden has started freezing again. Okay. Never been a better time than uh than when they're showing Overwatch stuff. <laughs> True. Uh okay, so I guess they're just turning the old like seasonal event missions into a proper game mode now just a horde survival thing it looks like the world is counting on us. a new adventure begins <laughs> <laughs> i can't believe overwatch one is still being updated <laughs> life weaver they're going to show another new hero i think after this yeah 
Oh no. But they did show one in the trailer, like they're they're um, eclipsing the sun. Imagine they make another minor update to the game and call it Overwatch 3. <laughs> oh man. Charge, charge eighty dollars for it. Yes. Every every patch update is just a new uh, a new number for the game. This is Persona is this 5 Tactica. Like a big hands. Fucking right. Yeah, I don't right, love I, this art style. I am struggling with my stream now. I don't I don't know why it's doing this. It's just not playing. Uh -huh. I'm actually kinda into it, I'm not gonna lie. It was kinda weird at first, but like the more I look at it, the more cute it is. It's actually it is just fully frozen. That is weird because it it's only that specific YouTube tab that I'm having issues with. Alright. Well, that was strange. strange. Maybe if we're lucky, the Persona Q games will finally get ported soon. Like Especially since they just did so, Etrian Odyssey. You take a stand us? Okay, I'll be right Persona back. Persona Q was honestly... Okay, no problem. Persona Q was honestly really not that good, I'll not, I won't lie. Even Q2? Yeah. Wow. Well, they were... They were like... They were fun, I guess, but they... The charm wore off. I, I got halfway through, I was like, wow, I am very bored now. Halo? I think Humanity so. has always hunted for knowledge. That's a very small Halo, if that's Halo. Oh, maybe uh, it's that other game where they're like stranded. They did it, they showed it off last year. So oh, not fucking Starfield. But We're getting a showcase on this later. I don't want to see it now. Fuck. <laughs> oh, wait, oh. is this Starfield? I'm back it just is. in time. All yeah. right. Show me nice. Todd! Show me Todd! <laughs> Where's Todd Howard? Todd Howard guest starring as himself as the main character. Oh my god. 25 Guy years in the making? That's Buddy. a lie. Yeah, yeah they're, they might be stretching the truth a little bit there. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're like, shit. I can believe five years in the making, but yeah. they just... Fat finger to two at the to front a, of that. Like, 25 years ago, it was just a twinkle in Todd's eye. <laughs> yeah. So far, it looks really pretty. I was gonna though, say yeah. it looks a lot better than the last time they showed it, which is good. Yeah, it really does. Yeah, it looks really nice. Yeah, big time. Space Skyrim, so true. I'm guessing this is why we haven't heard a single thing about Elder Scrolls no Six yet, as well, because it'll look like this. this mystery. I'll follow you from here on. Out. <laughs> the engine is 25 years old. Yeah, that's definitely what they mean. <laughs> <laughs> These artifacts could Bring be Bringing back the Oblivion engine, let's go. For. Another <laughs> great secret the universe is asking us to unravel. That millions of planets thing has to be fucking bullshit, place. though. Like, I can't. Did it say I millions? I'm pretty sure it said million. I thought last time they I talked about it, uh, Todd said there was like a thousand planets or something, which is still ridiculous, but... Yeah. No, it was some obscure number. I, I have, I'm looking it up right now. Like, it was some impossible number. What they mean by that is each planet is going to, like, you know, they'll all have very similar biomes, but maybe just one different flower is growing on that <laughs> yeah. planet, you know? Yeah. I think right. Todd Howard did say over a thousand, but still, like... I, I think he elaborated on that to say that, like, they have both, like, generated planets and, like, bespoke planets that they, like, actually, like, hand place stuff on, which makes a lot more sense. <laughs> yeah. I don't think there's any generated, like... I think that that was something else that was not not procedurally high. generated, but like like generated, like yeah, I get what you mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. World premiere. The I logo. One thing I really more... like with the Xbox showcase is there's no nonsense. It's just trailer, 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 trailer. Oh, that was less yeah. Starfield than I was expecting. Maybe they'll go back into it later. Yeah, no, they're gonna do the end. They're gonna do the direct. Yeah. 
That trailer was better than anything they've shown for that game so far. <laughs> oh, absolutely, absolutely, yeah. Yo, what is that bird thing in the back? I love That's adorable. Breath of the Wild. I don't know. Hey, bird sounds, Pren. Let me let me enjoy the bird, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, never. You're gonna look like an idiot on stream. I'm gonna make sure that happens. PC like gaming is today as well, yes. Yeah, it's, uh, it's after the Xbox one, isn't it? Yep. I think it starts, like, right after. Uh, no, there, there might be, like, an hour gap. If this is, like, two hours. I feel like people are gonna inevitably compare this to Breath of the Wild, but what it reminds me of is the game Grow Home. I don't know if you've ever played Play. that. You play as like a robot and you climb a giant structure to the oh, top. Oh, I do know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I do know that. Yeah. That's what I'm oh, seeing that's here. True, actually. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like it might just be you're climbing like the world's biggest mountain. <laughs> yeah. True. Just and. It's a. Sorry, just and. Juice and? It's a nice sand? art style, but. I don't know, it looked a yeah. little boring. <laughs> yeah, it didn't really give me a big reason World to play. Premiere. Just oh, dance. It. I'm not gonna lie. Just dance. <laughs> Damn, Damn they really did the gameplay. Secret mode. Oh, no hmm. one look. <laughs> Chinese room? These guys make like uh, walking simulators and stuff, from what I remember. <laughs> Death Stranding. You're just gonna drop that paint can, and not pick it up. Come on. Oh my God! Littering everywhere. Uh, neat. Hmm. I knew it was only a matter of time before we'd have a survival horror game set on an oil rig. <laughs> yeah. True. It's one of those things that like you don't think about and then you see it and you're like, oh yeah, that makes sense. Dude, I, I, can't that my Xbox finally bingo getting... card. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're finally getting alien, but in the ocean. Yo, lo-fi hip-hop girl of the game? <laughs> uh, let's go. <laughs> The whole game is that you're just doing your homework and you're just listening to music. But it's a hack and slash for some reason? Did Twitch what? unsub me? Oh. You look sub to me. Oh. Kinda sick. Oh. Frame rate's kinda shit, but it's kinda sick. Yeah. <laughs> Frame rate's terrible. Also, I will say the movement animation look um, very bad, but... Yeah, I can't tell how I feel about this this art style. I'm I'm pretty happy with that also. It looks really nice, but it's like oh, the wait, movement. I'm fine with it. Yeah, it's just, just it's a little it's a little busy. I feel like they need to like tone down the cell shading just like a tiny bit. <laughs> I, I feel that. Yeah. You know what, Nick? You're busy. <laughs> okay, Sorry, okay, 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 okay. That was too okay. far. I apologize. Wow, no, I, I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I just feel like the movement animation for that were very weird and off-putting. Hi. Yo. I'm very excited <laughs> to be returning oh. as Johnny Silverhand in the upcoming expansion for Cyberpunk 2077. I don't even care. I Phantom love Cyberpunk. Liberty. I'm excited for this. This new adventure. I was about to laugh. Did they like fix this game? Yeah. Well, I played it when it released, and like I didn't really have issues, but it's definitely gotten better. It's really amazing. Okay. Okay. That's kind of sad. Yeah, he's in this too. It's cool to be a part of this game with you, man. Um, as a player, you'll get to <laughs> I love, I love Keanu. Keanu. <laughs> of Night City. He, he is like a gem, isn't he? The new United States of America. Expect a they need to put Nick Cage in this, too. 
<laughs> oh, true. They just lost game of the year because no Nick Cage. <laughs> Dead, Dead by Daylight game of, game of the year six the years after it came out. <laughs> when it comes to telling cinematic stories in video games. And I really can't wait for you to play it on Xbox Series X and S. Why does his voice sound so robotic? That is literally just what he sounds like. <laughs> and so it is my honor and pleasure to give you and introduce the official trailer for Phantom Liberty. Check it out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> He's actually great in this game too, like surprisingly fits the role perfectly. Johnny. I'm dying. I need to There's nothing in stock. I, I need to play Witcher of Free as well at some point. Oh god. That game's amazing. Same. Yeah, like, I keep starting it, and then I get, like... It's so long. But, yeah, I keep getting to, like, the Griffin, and then I just stop because I'm like, I'd already did commit to this yet. It's a very big yeah. game. Yeah, that, that might be... That's one of the longest, like, just straight-up single-player games I've ever played. Like, it, it took me, like, 150 hours to do everything. Yeah. I hit a very similar thing there. And then I got friends that have, like... Replayed it at least like three or four different I, I can't. I, I've tried to replay it, and it's just like it, it's so long. There's so much. Stay sharp. We're in the wolf's den now. This looks really good. Time to evac. Her safety is the top priority. Yeah, I'm really hopeful that because of the launch that this game had, that they wouldn't make the same mistakes twice with advertising it. So I'm hopeful that that this will be reflective of the DLC's quality and not just smoke and mirrors. Yeah, true. Someone ratted us out. You know, V, treason ain't ever black and white. It's a charade, V. Wherever she goes, people get hurt. Bodies drop. Just want what Songbird promised me. The cure. The situation has changed. I need to know if you're with me. Illusion of freedom draws in the dust. I'm sure if you haven't played this game, the story stuff they're talking about won't make any sense to you, but this is like kind of spoiling the game a little bit. <laughs> Oh, uh, uh, yeah, no, I don't know what the fuck. Is yeah, I, I guess yeah. If you if you don't know what's going on, you probably wouldn't even know. But like they they're talking about some stuff that happens like really late in the game. Good thing I turned off my uh, turned off my ears and just opened my eyes. There you go. Well, yeah. cool. Oh, that's a release date too. Damn. Oh wow, yeah. Yeah, I might pick it up if I see it on sale soon. City Skylines 2. Mini Let's Metro go. 2. Actually, it might be. I was kidding, but... Sim City? Yeah, it's probably Sim City or City Skyline, honestly. One of the two. Maybe DLC for one of them. I don't know. No, the graphics look like... much better than something like City Skylines. Even though that it might, uh, yeah, it might be a sequel, free. though. Yeah. We'll yeah. see. I, I was actually no, joking yeah, about that. Thinking. Yeah, I think it legitimately is like City Skylines 2. Wait, what? DLC, okay. you have to demolish your towns? Like... This looks like City Skylines. Like, yeah. Down to the controls, even. Oh, this is definitely City Skylines, yeah. I hope Sega has some presence here. They probably won't, but that'd be kind of like more than just Yakuza. I want Sega Sonic. Hit. I'll just, yeah, I'll say it. This looks really Sega detailed hit. for a city builder. Hmm. City Skylines is a bit like this in general, though. Yeah. It's very in depth. God, oh, it looks really good, though. Like, visually, it looks yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Maybe that's the title, You Make Cities. That, oh, there wow, I called it, like, frame oh, one. Wow. I can't believe you that. Did, I was yeah. joking. <laughs> All right, bingo cut. Yeah. Hmm, I think today I will make cities. <laughs> <laughs> cities, I like cities. 
I was actually thinking of picking up the first one because I've just been having that itch, but I'm on wait for that now. World premiere. All right, last well, we've heard the world premiere voice like 15 times at this point. Yeah, I know. Right? What's this one gonna be? Another Atlas title? This one wasn't leaked. You know what this is, Prince? Uh, no, I don't actually think I know this. Aki says re fantasy. Yeah, I think Aki's popping off. SMT. I don't. I, I don't know what any of this is, chat. <laughs> <laughs> don't, this looks, don't look at me. <laughs> this actually looks good. Shit. Yeah, I was gonna say, like, this looks beautiful, like, stylish as hell. Yeah. And this is this is the uh, Persona devs, right? Just <laughs> yeah. That's how out of this, out of the loop I am with these games. This even looks like it plays a lot like Persona. Like, I want to play this. I said it was made by people that made Persona 3, 4, and 5, so... Yeah, the, all the good ones. Yeah. It'd be very weird if, you know, this is... This has got to be Persona 6, right? I don't know what else it could be. Aki said re-fantasy. I don't think it's Persona 6, so I haven't seen uh, any any SMT creatures. No. Yeah, no, it's, it's like a, it's a brand new, well, no, it's a brand new thing, I don't know. It's not, yeah, it's not the same, though. Yeah, it was, was the thing I said. Metaphor? Was said. that the... Yeah, oh, oh, okay, go. yeah. Hmm. That's a cool logo. <laughs> that is a cool logo, yeah. World God, that looked really good. Yeah, true, true, true. Persona 3 Reloaded is Devil a thing, fellas. Cry, yeah, they showed the Persona 3 trailer earlier. Oh, the Banner, Banner Saga. Saga trilogy. I tried to play the first game and I just didn't get like super into it, but I've heard they're really good. I, I may need to go back. I've heard they're pretty good too, yeah, but I don't I don't know anything about them. Here in the Belfry. It's like a very artsy, like tactical RPG. Okay. Are we coming up on like the end of this? Like, I think this show's only an hour. Is long it only an hour? Oh wow. Right? Oh yeah, then Starfield. Yeah. And to bring hope. They're probably gonna have a real big heavy hitter after this one. Yeah. I gotta end it. No, this is the final game. It's <laughs> a random game. <laughs> Man, this if this is really from the people who made uh Banner Saga, this looks really generic. I'm kinda disappointed. Yeah, yeah there needs to be really more to boring. set it apart. Yeah, th yeah, this could be. You could tell me this is any like MMO, and I'd be like, yeah, okay, sure. <laughs> Together, you can save humanity. And the other thing that's like kind of interesting about it is like the world. Yeah, that's it. Creatures are not that uncreative. Yeah, the the yeah. creature designs are kind of cool, but like they just look like they're plopped into the world. It, it, weird. I don't yeah. know. Premier. Like I said, I would be open to trying it. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> but what about Bloodboard? Yeah, we'll definitely see Bloodboard at the Xbox showcase. <laughs> it's this. I don't know why you're making a joke about that. It's, <laughs> it's coming up right now. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Bioshock Infinite 2? Are you gonna do another frame one call out? Please don't. Yeah, it, I was gonna say, it might actually <laughs> right. be. It might it's legitimately be. It does. Uh, uh, <laughs> it looks cool, whatever it is. Aki says that Nick's right. No Bloodborne looking kinda different. Bioshock Infinite is the only one I didn't play. I have it, I just never got around to playing it, and then it just turned to never. It's probably my favorite Bioshock. There are a lot of people who have kind of soured on it, though. It's like everyone, really. I hear it's fantastic. I love Bioshock 1 and 2 as well. This game is called Bioshock Forever. Oh, wow, this actually is Bioshock. Wow. 
All right. Well, that's what people you are guessing. I don't know Google if that's... The, the no, it's not. No, it's not. Yeah, I'm joking. Point. Okay, Chad is just lying to me now. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Faded. I will not destroy you. I think it is Bioshock. It, it, it really looks, looks so yeah. much like... But was that... <laughs> destruction? Wait a second. This is so Bioshock, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Forever would be a fitting title with the time mechanic. What did I do? It would. Tears of the Kingdom, yeah. <laughs> Clearly. Oh, wow. It's a new Tears of the Kingdom DLC. Well, oh, it, 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 it froze. Why did it freeze? Oh, thank God. I was so oh. worried Nick was going to get two collets in a row. I was like, holy <laughs> shit. My, meanwhile, my, uh, my stream froze. Oh, no. Again, why is it doing this? And now it's just like Planet actually Eagle. frozen. All right. The Xbox, don't announce anything while I'm gone. <laughs> Close. It's just uh, Phil Spencer talking. Oh, thank He's God. He's recapping the show, yeah. And then one more announcement, I'm sure. Always oh, have I would imagine so. If they just go right into Starfield Direct, like. That's the first climatic. original experiences since joining Xbox with South. I feel like Xbox is going to buy Sega soon with like how Sega shows a lot of their stuff, at least Atlas at at Xbox showcase. Don't you think that would get blocked the same the way RPG Activision Masters did, though? I don't know. Obsidian. Like that that it's oh, yeah. smaller, yeah. but yeah. it's that's st still a Our huge acquisition. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Especially ever since Microsoft the Sonic movies. Simulator. Like, yeah, that would be pretty fucking insane. In Is this better than Summer Games Fest? Yeah, I would say even if you were happy with Summer Games Fest, I would say this felt like a much better showcase. Oh, absolutely. This, this takes a lot of boxes I wanted. Can't wait for when they announce Redfall 2. That's true. We got to see Redfall 2. <laughs> Both built for Xbox Series X, S, and PC. We are also honored to share 14 games today from our creator. Oh, he's wearing a Hexen shirt. Like kind of base. Outlaws from Ubisoft Massive, in collaboration with Lucasfilm Games. 33 Immortals from Thunder Lotus, Kunitsu Gami, Path of the Goddess from Capcom. And more persona Is it Bioshock? No, it was Pass, called like Clockwork or something, right? Yeah. With Sega hmm. Atlas. It looked cool. It was definitely Bioshock inspired. Clockwork, Clockwork Infinite, Zero I think it was, was called. Metaphor, Did it actually have Infinite Fantasia. in the name? <laughs> it's great to be able I think. To oh my god. Next from the creators of Persona here in our showcase. Very on the nose. Yeah, no. That would be like really weird. But like, game creators first. That would be a really and random like next project for id or what's the dev that does that did the wolfenstein games what's their name because they're still under xbox's no i don't think it was it it was uh when it comes to everyone's saying id maybe i'm wrong i thought it was a different dev back on two fronts pretty sure it's it first we have significantly increased our supply machine games thank you series x making it easier for fans. I mean, this wouldn't be the game. first time. This is like when they put Second, an Xbox, like, we know um, you've wanted more an Xbox Series S in the background of, like, I'm one of the enemies of Phil share. Spencer. We have some news there as well. Wait, what? Back in... Oh. Black. The new Xbox, oh my god. Xbox Series S Black Edition? One terabyte. This this Game trailer power. is going unreasonably hard for the reveal of Microsoft's new like black rectangle. <laughs> yeah. One thing I will always give credit for Xbox though, even if I don't buy that stuff anymore, that consoles are cheap as hell. Yeah, that I and think that's kind of what they're gunning for right now. Yeah. yeah. Prepare for They're the fucking off now, unfortunately. Done okay, they are just going the right into Starfield. We've ever built. So sit tight and enjoy Starfield Direct. Ah, uh, Starfield like has to be good. And uh, it, if it's not, that is a huge loss for for Microsoft. Yeah. That is a lot of I money down the drain if Starfield sucks. Oh. Yeah. 
Is that it for all the new games? Uh, as far as yeah. announcements go, yeah, they're gonna show Starfield yeah. now for a bit. Well, PC, the PC gaming show already start? No, I think it starts in like it, an hour. Does it? I think so. Yeah, in an hour. Oh right. Okay. Um. Well, I'm <laughs> I'm Xboxed out. Yeah, that's um, fine. Yeah. Thank you guys for uh, coming on today and hanging out and reacting to uh, things we already saw leaked by Atlas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, please play Persona soon, Nick. That game's fucking. I, I will. I will. Everyone, I don't know if I'll do it on stream, so but I, I definitely want to check it out. Welcome to yeah, for Bethesda sure. Game Studios. Uh, yeah, you know, I'll catch you guys so later. Over and, uh, the yeah, to make yeah it was fun. That See ya. Hey. And that's thanks. To all of you I am gonna watch the, the uh, I'm gonna watch the Starfield the thing. We love creating these worlds and playing in them just as much as you do. But yeah, yes, yeah, so I'll and watch the PC gaming time, one. We'd often talk about and dream up. What time is you checking out after? I definitely want to do Lies of P. Of being who you want to be I have a few others though that I could play depending on how much time I have. Space where you weren't really limited in where you could go or what you could do, and that. I say that as if I don't pretty much have infinite time today. Obviously, I have nothing we've going on. Way since then. With the games we've built, our technology, and all of us here in the studio, we've done so much together, but, well, we've never tried to make a game like this. Lies of Todd. Today, <laughs> That's what we're playing now. On the team and Lies of so T, I like that. ...of what we think makes our game special. So, let's jump in and take a look. The volume thing won't go away. Hello? Starfield is our there first new universe. Ten-hour stream, yeah, yeah, yeah. Years. But it's still a Bethesda RPG through and through, where you step into a new world and you get that feeling. I don't even care, man. There, there is like a chance that Starfield time, sucks. It's not just one world. But the truth is that I'm excited for this game anyways, because if this is good, this shit is going to slap. And if it's not good, it'll be hilarious. Like there's almost there's almost not a bad outcome. The worst outcome would be if this game was just OK. <laughs> that we had the technology to create it. I'm betting this From is revealed to be pre-rendered footage. I feel like Bethesda the doesn't really, like, they, the they almost always show, like, real gameplay the footage. They lie about it all the time, but that at least they the show, that like, that the, actually there the game. The planet. Yes, you can visit it, too. You can go there! You see that planet? <laughs> simulate the galaxy around you. Worst outcome Our is mid-game, yeah. lighting model uses real-time global illumination to light the world based on the type of star Yo, St. Louis? and the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. We also have an all-new animation system. The Fallout 76 course, trailer was totally not gameplay? I, I don't really see how... I don't see what and part of that was, like, clearly person. fake. They just way oversold that game. We love exploration and rewarding and it, really like under undersold the negative aspects of it. That usually involves exploring an area you've landed in. You can collect resources. Do a mission and maybe even stumble upon something unexpected. So yeah, this is kind of what I think uh, is it's going to be like, is you're going to have planets that are a lot like empty, but they're going to have like kind of bespoke landmarks on them. Combat looks okay. The movement actually looks kind of decent. The gunplay doesn't look that good though. We do love stuff and all of the items allowing you to pick Bro's aim up. is so strange. He's probably playing on controller. Menu. This is the hub for everything you're doing, from your skills to your ship, your missions, and your This inventory. UI is nice. Am we I crazy? Yeah, okay, I don't love the inventory. <laughs> this reminds me of Skyrim's weapons, like crap vanilla inventory. Suits, to food. We just obsess over the details and food. We obsess over food. When you're done exploring, you can walk back or fast travel to your ship. We have companions and crew you can take with you. I left Vasco here back at my ship. I want to turn up the uh, the quality because it's kind of low right now, but at name. the same time, I'm kind of like, Let it started freezing when I did this before, so. Let's head out. Yeah, we're fine, we're fine. 
720p is good enough. Twitch compresses the shit out of this anyways. Our mission was to convey the wonder and majesty of space exploration. To evoke the romance of the golden age of Bosco space should be replaced with and we Bosco. And refer to this approach as NASA punk. This means a design language where the I'm gonna look up what time the PC gaming show is. still looks grounded and relatable. For us, it's, it's that contrast. That's where the visual interest is. Obviously, oh, NASA, it'll be three o'clock. So I actually have quite a bit of time. Style, and then punk, which is all about style. You can That's see that two hours style from now. Deep Rock mentioned. Your ship is your home for you and your crew. And like many of the spaces in our game, it has. I'm a sorry, but I don't care in the slightest about Starfield. <gasps> a bit of lo-fi rather than sci-fi. That's fine. You're allowed to not care about used, one game. <laughs> what do you What do you want me to say? Alrighty, what's the plan, Captain? This is your star map. It starts with the planet you're currently on. You can see all of its info and resources. You can choose a landing spot or fast travel to known locations. Backing out further, you can view all the planets. Are these the games all for Xbox? The they're all on big, Game Pass, I believe. Here you can see planets but they're not they're not all Xbox exclusive. A lot of these will be on PC. Versus the many planets that are barren but resource heavy. Zoom out even further to see all the systems in this part of the galaxy. Here you can plot a course to ones that are light years away. This uses your ship's grav drive to fold space and jump to these systems. And you will need to upgrade your ship and skills if you want to jump to the most. Oh, this is like this is like Elite Dangerous. Now, we'll plot a course I've never played Star, Star Citizen, system, but this is how like traveling in Elite Dangerous works. Will there be a dedicated rock and stone button for Starfield? I don't know. I'll call up Todd and ask him, but there better be. I, I'm I'm willing to resort to physical violence to make sure we get one. Welcome to UC Space. Maintain your current course. While Here you can see your star house with your star wife and star kids. Listen, there are some leaks from this game that suggest that you can fuck in this game. That's all I'm saying. Ten out of ten. <laughs> This looks nice. As soon as you land in a city like New Atlantis, your eyes are guided upwards to just these boundless, vast buildings. This is really cool. It's the biggest city we've ever made, not just in size, but also in the amount of custom art, crowds, and quests. So the main focus when we're designing a city is obviously what supports the story. We try and tell as many small stories as possible. This is a colony war. <laughs> it's a few moments of gameplay that make the space feel like it's full of real characters that are going about their day-to-day -day lives. It's paralyzed if you really stop and think They about better it. actually but have schedules conflict. and, it's like, lives, unlike in Cyberpunk, where they just disappear. Begins. Badly animated modes. Welcome to Constellation. We have a lot to talk about. By the time you meet them, Constellation is sort of seen as this mythical. The way the dialogue Most looks, like the dialogue scenes, it's anymore. definitely a Bethesda They're the game. They're the last true explorers in the galaxy, and they're trying to find the answers to some of humanity's biggest questions. The artifacts are so different, so alien, and I'm certain one of them reached out and spoke to you. The artifact. If you could place it on the table. Biggest question: Who stole my sweet roll? True. Oh my God! Look at how it's coming together. <laughs> Minecraft this reference. Set built by an intelligence outside the settled systems. It's definitely an eclectic cast of characters. You've got Sarah Morgan, the ex-soldier and adventurer, now Constellation's leader. Matteo, the theologian who believes that there's definitely something else out there. Noel the gifted scientist and Sarah Morgan's protege, and Walter, a very successful businessman. I, I, think, I think Starfield has like a, a sufficient amount of hype for it, but it's one. really There's like hard to get people excited for a brand new IP Sam by being Co. like, look at the characters, they're so cool. Like, nobody knows who any of these people are. <laughs> Completely resistant to my otherwise irresistible charm. <laughs> the journey you take with Okay, <laughs> there's your quippy the dialogue. Many you'll embark on. The Settled Systems is home to all kinds of different stories, people, and adventures for you to uncover. I swear I just saw a cowboy. You did. You're you're not you're not tripping. 
The United Colonies is where you'll find New Atlantis, the first major human settlement in space. The people who live here value law. They're really going and the going in deep on this humanity. game. They I guess I don't know what I expected. The they called it Starfield Direct, so joining up with the Vanguard, help the United Colonies even get your UC citizenship. New Atlantis isn't the only city within the United Colonies. The city of Sidonia on Mars to this day serves as the largest mining facility for the United Colonies. Why do the trailers always say stuff like, hey, look at this cool landscape you'll only be able to see if you have a NASA quantum computer? This game is on Xbox. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is Freestar Collective Space. Like, you'll be able to the play it on PC, and it'll probably require a pretty good computer, but it's also on the Xbox. Inn is an Aquila City fixture. We're going to Sedona, we Arizona. On judgment and intuition to do what's best for the people. Neon started out as a fishing platform. Holy shit, they're really... Oh, fuck, the that's cool. They're really a showing a lot of, like, cities and settlements goes. and stuff, which is got neat. morality issues, this definitely isn't the job for you. Can't wait for day one PC performance issues, as it always goes. <laughs> Can't wait for the Xbox to start smoking. This game will almost surely be 30 frames per second on Xbox, though. I will say that. Try not to get yourself killed, all right? The cities do look cool. It, it reminds me a little bit of the Outer Worlds, space, but better. <laughs> of systems to well, hopefully better. These Knock on wood. Also home to the most hostile factions in the galaxy. Oh, is that a Gojira shirt? Based. All heathens shall be made dust in time. The square shotgun is a back. Face. This is the face of a brave runner here to challenge the Red Mile. They Holy shit, they just keep going. The galaxy is theirs. They are wrong. It belongs to the Crimson This world this world seems huge. I mean, they did say like a thousand planets, but in Starfield we're or whatever. pushing our cities and settlements further. Yeah, they just keep showing new before. ones. It's all there waiting for you. Not a enough them boys. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I'll I'll take that one up with Todd as well. So, you ready to get out there? <laughs> Don't worry. We'll play Lies of P today. And that, the that, galaxy, then you'll get your fix so of femboy. To see and stories to experience. But the most important story. Wonder where the, the Elden Ring tell. DLC will be announced. I'm the type of person who spends Copium. hours in character creation, and I think people are going to be really excited when they see all of the improvements we've Twink made. Bloodboard. One of the biggest overhauls was done through our character generation system. We scanned a wide range of faces from different age groups and ethnicities. And by mixing and matching all that data, we were able to create highly detailed and diverse characters. So no Silk Song? Yeah, we no Silk Song. We used that exact system to create all of the characters and NPCs you're going to see yet. in the game. So any character you see... How was the Lies of P demo? I haven't played it yet. You could make I'm, I'm hoping to today, though. B come characters. On, come on. You joke, okay. but uh, the Tears of the you Kingdom are NPCs are uh, are made no like damage, with me's, like legitimately. That's that's a real thing. You know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors. Ring any bells? Any of this look familiar? What? What are you talking? Oh, this is like. <laughs> I was like, what the hell is you going start on? Your character creation journey as hey, you're you. You're finally records. awake. <laughs> You'll pick from a lineup of 40 presets, and that'll be your starting point. I think I might just wait until Turbo Overkill Episode 3 is fully out to play it. As quick as you want it to be. This new system has more I am very excited for it, before. but I kind of just want to wait. It's also I can't the decide, though. Character generation system we ever had. We let the oh, that piercing looks painful. Like right want. here. With the various facial morphs you can blend together. The dermesthetic and makeup. Blushes, yeah, it's so soon stars, that I'm like, I can wait a month. Teeth settings. It's a lot, but I think it's the most fun to use. <laughs> what the fuck was you. that? This is also where you start to decide who you want to be. That's where backgrounds come in. Backgrounds give you a bit of backstory and start you out with three basic skills. From chef to dusty. You know, the crew still has a betting pool about which restaurant critic you must have crossed to wind up here. What's great about backgrounds is you never know when yours is going to come in handy. 
You could be in the middle of a fancy restaurant. With all the all chainsaw guy, leg upgrades, the game just gets unfun. So waiting for that nerf, you can also just not Fine. use them, right? I probably should stick to professionals anyway, given what happened the last time. We're also giving you the option to customize your build. Will Norman further, Reedus be in this? He can be, traits. if you want him traits to. Traits are completely optional, and they come with their own advantages and disadvantages. You could choose to meet your biggest fan. The faces are not so bad, but they're not amazing. Is it really? Yo, adoring fan is back. Let's fucking go. And I'll give you gifts if you're willing to put up with this constant commentary. I can't believe I get to stand near you. There's no way they brought the adoring fan back, bro. Every molecule. <laughs> My favorite trait is kid stuff. You have to pay some credits to support your parents, but they're very sweet and it's really fun to get. There's a shout to throw them off a cliff. Yeah, the faces are fine. The animations are a little are a little wonky. Hostile zealots in space, but because I had chosen a trait that made me the same religion as them, I was able to get by without any issues. Literally reminds me of Oblivion. I mean, it's, it's made by Bethesda. When your health is low, but and they literally recycled a character from it. No matter what you choose, there will be plenty of ways for you to tell your story. And if you want to remove a trait, there are ways to do that too. What a view! It's a feast for the eyes! <laughs> Off we go! To another <laughs> adventure! Oh my god. Whoa! There! You discover that on your okay, own. Okay, there it was. We get some funny New Vegas dialogue options. It did look like actual, like, skills were going to be used in dialogue again, kind of unlike they were in Fallout 4, but... We took what we loved about skills and perks from our previous games and put them together to create an all-new skill system. Okay, I'm very curious about this. You get a skill point, which can be used to unlock or rank up skills. I mean, this kind of looks like Fallout 4's system, by completing challenges which is not great, but it's fine. Challenges become increasingly difficult as you work your way to higher ranks. Oh, you have to do challenges. With our five different skill yeah, that's kind of neat. Four ranks per Could be skill, cool. There's a lot to choose from. I like the Xeno sociology skill because it lets you mind control aliens. <laughs> All right. Boost pack out of the gate. I'm boost pack and everywhere. Oh yeah, this looked sick when they were using it earlier. Okay, these actually look like they have like an effect on gameplay, unlike Fallout 4s, which are like 5% stat increase. And that's it. <laughs> that one's a lot of fun. Okay, these look pretty good. I, I'm, I'm back. They brought me back. I'm very much a stealth player. So, Is Bethesda getting their shit together? I mean, favorite part about being stealthy the last game they released was Fallout 76, and as I understand it, the, the main studio didn't even really work on that game. And, on and like, Fallout 4 wasn't amazing, but it was Whenever fine. Possible, I like to talk my way through situations. Is the area's off limits? I think people acted like it was a foregone conclusion fine, that I'll Starfield would suck, card. which it might I'd still, but I, I think... I think it's very possible that uh, like death from above that thing, people just way like the overestimated the importance of uh, of Fallout 76. Oh, 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 oh. Hi-Fi Rush was quite amazing, but then they had Redfall. You're talking about Bethesda Softworks, not like Bethesda Game Studios. Up. They're they're a publisher. Tango GameWorks made uh, made Hi-Fi Rush, and Arcane made Redfall. Those are different developers. Too much on the line with this game. I agree. They can't afford to fuck this game up. I'm not saying they won't, but exploration is a key aspect. Microsoft has a lot games. riding on this game. In Starfield, there are full star systems with new life, resources, and adventures. Our team worked hard to strike a balance between fun and realism. We studied data from NASA and a multitude of other sources to help us make the world Oop, feel did it freeze? Believable. What the hell? There we go, we're fine. From the way we approached planetary atmospheres to the way we placed biomes based on the planet's distance. I wonder if they will continue to fuck with their modding community Once or if we we're done with that. Grounded world, we can start I would really like to know the details on how well Creation Club has done for them, because I, I suspect it hasn't done well at all. You'll be navigating asteroid fields having chance meetings with interesting strangers, dogfighting in space, and exploring derelict ships. 
I'm hopeful that Microsoft is willing to just let Bethesda cook and make it's a good game and there. then just hope that people will be down to like buy it for 70 bucks and buy expansions Ultimately, and stuff. It's about rewarding your curiosity. Yeah, they haven't showed that much of the like space of flight planet, and fighting, but it looked decent the from what little they did show. The vastness of space, you never know what you'll find. Zenimax got completely bought out by Microsoft. I'm not sure Zenimax still exists in any meaningful capacity. Space exploration is possible thanks to your ship. Your ship is almost like having another character or home you can make all your own. I think you'll be blown away by the amount of stuff you can do. You can buy a ship. I'm sure you can find something. I want to say that's a good thing, but I mean, yeah, I mean, Microsoft. Ship. You never know. And okay, that's cool. Keep it up and running. That's pretty fucking cool. It all starts in spaceports. Every spaceport has a ship technician where you can purchase, sell, and modify ships. Anything I can help you with? Maybe you start off with a speedy fighter that's perfect for bounty hunting. Then you might round out your Yeah, ship this this is pretty awesome. Space to run cargo Starfield PSX when but modders will make it for happen. Now, though, we're going to take our starting ship, the Frontier, and make some changes. They've, uh, modders have made a one-by-one one texture pack for, uh, for Skyrim. Anything is possible. You can quickly upgrade individual systems. Someone like will make a penis ship. I'd be shocked if or we didn't see it in the trailer, honestly. The ship builder mode. Here you can change anything from the systems to the look and layout. Adding a new habitat module can give you more room for crew. Adding cowling can change <laughs> your ship's overall silhouette. Phrasing. An improved grav drive allows for longer distance space jumps. You can even fully they, customize What's crazy to me is they all look the really good look too. I mean, I'm sure they wouldn't the show like bad looking ships. Don't just affect your ship's stats. But like they all look They'll really like nice. I, I'm surprised ship. by that. You can have modules for crafting or for storing and displaying your weapons. Starfield's in-game This, this ship is super cool. Bring their own look I'm, I'm impressed. To every piece of your ship. From living quarters to cargo holds, mess halls, and control rooms. We put you into Blender so you can make your own ship. Our modified Frontier is a practical ship, but with a little Imagine. creativity, your ship can look like almost anything you want. It's a bit odd, but one of no my penises, favorite ways though. of customizing ships is um, I make them look like animals. The HMS there has been bus, really a it. small amount of Todd in this, which I think is on purpose. <laughs> I'm realizing that they, they left Todd out of most of this probably on purpose. We've done mechs. <laughs> so it's really whatever your imagination is. Okay. And while you can build your home among the stars Wait a the way second, you dude. To, you're probably not the only person who will call your ship home. Ready to lift off when you are, Captain. They're all Todd in disguise. Yeah, they're they're like AI'd over Todd. Is fueled and ready, Captain. Some of the members of Constellation can join you on your journey. These companions can serve on your crew, and they'll always be there when you travel. We'll be traveling together until we either find an artifact or this lead runs dry. Each companion comes with their own valuable skills for your ships and outposts. As well as unique quest lines. They're all deep faked over Todd. Some friendships might blossom into romance. I don't know that I've ever really loved anyone except you. Todd is and the only developer of this game. Help on your ship, you can always hire additional crew at spaceports. Got any room on your ship for someone like me? You'll also W Riz. Oh, you can fuck all right. <laughs> Still think there might be a spot for me on your ship? I gotta get off this rock. Assign crew to your ship or outposts, and their unique skills will affect how they run. And I'm not like gonna lie here. Most crew members can lend. I like what I'm seal. seeing. Take Bosco. For I, I was I was hopeful about this game, and I might have been the only the person on Earth that was still hopeful machine. about this game. But I I think it looks good. Getting shot, you might die. I still wanted to give it almost a humanoid personality, so I elongated the limbs. This tends to make him feel more human-like. 
and give him a little personality. Obviously, they're gonna paint it in the best light, but requires so much. They're they're telling me all the right things about this game. I think using the ship building tools and crew selection features in Starfield, you'll be able to build and captain the ship of your dreams. Nope, no and room now, on my ship. Have fun rotting on that rock, nerd. Exactly. No one, no women allowed the USS Sigma. All NPCs are played by Todd. Someone will AI voice every line of this game as Todd Howard. I guarantee it. Okay, here we go. Here's the ship flight. I mean, it looks decent. We're you in the cockpit of your very own spaceship and telling you that you can do pretty much anything. And the game and advertisement really cool makes you want to buy the game. Developers. It does its job. No way. I mean, I already have Game Pass, and this game is day one Game Pass, so I was gonna play it either way. Complete control every step of the way. We've extended that sense of control. Gonna fuck them all, especially if they're all Todd. No, we can't. We can't have that. That would just make the the sex appeal of this game like way too high. Nobody can handle that much Todd. Boosting power to your engines will make your ship faster. Powering up the grab drives will shorten the amount of time it takes before you can make a jump. This doesn't look like incredibly deep, so I'm sure some like some people who are hoping for like a space flight sim will be disappointed, but it's better than I expected it to be, I think. Your toes because you're not alone out there. Yeah, he be he better say it just works. Yeah, FTL is a good comparison. Obviously, real-time combat, the though. Control system skill will allow you to zero in on specific subsystems of the ship you target. Damn, it's like vats. After destroying an enemy ship. You can this type of gameplay isn't cockpit. really like my cup of tea, you but it looks decent. Ship that engages you into scrap. But you can also take a more personal approach by docking with the enemy vessel. And oh, that's cool. Ship. That's pretty cool. I like that. Once you've taken control of an enemy ship, it's Is yours. it multiplayer? Doubt it. Usually Add Bethesda games aren't. Retrieve it at any spaceport. Fallout 76 being the exception. But space is way more than fighting for your life. But I actually think that's fine. It's all Todd. Like when you're side, yeah, you can co-op this game, but only with Todd himself. To on the way to your next adventure. Like these massive star yards. Walk the halls, talk to the crew. Maybe get talked into buying a whole new ship. A civilian in my star yard. Okay, so I'm getting you a proper <laughs> one worthy of you. Bro, you got a little, Maybe you'll you got a little something. A gigantic <laughs> battleship like the UC Vigilance. The, I'm not gonna lie. I'm sure a lot of this is like built like modularly, but the the world seems huge. Am I crazy? The they just keep well showing like new locations and stuff. The stars. Like if there's huge space state, like they already showed a bunch of, of massive cities. If there's whole well, space stations, like you can hail Jesus you Christ. To trade, swap info. I mean, the world being too big could be a bad thing too. Don't get me wrong. I'm just surprised. When I'm playing, I generally go crazy. Um, I definitely go like the more piracy routes. Um, I want to take over ships. I'm going to board ships. I'm like, this is now mine. I steal all the sandwiches and put them you know, in my cargo good, hold good. that I have specifically for okay. sandwiches. Okay. This is definitely a, hero, a Bethesda um, game. But I want to go out and just start taking things from people as quickly as possible. Some strangers might be looking for a little human connection in the darkness of space. Hello, stranger. I just finished cooking up Hi, Grandma. Bread. If you want to come on over, what? Come on what? Some of the best moments are the ones you <laughs> discover on your own. There might be cheese wheels. I wouldn't. I wouldn't the rule thing it out. I love most about Starfield is that it is a Bethesda game through and through. It's really about going to strange new places, meeting interesting people, and getting side. There better be watermelons adventures. in this game or cabbages. And realizing two hours later that you're involved in a completely new story. You're human. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. 
That DNA is so present here. It's in our random encounters. It's in our handcrafted quests. And it feels so cool to play it. Keep and going. Just make your own path I'm almost the there. <laughs> there are over a thousand when the Bethesda game is a Bethesda game. That's the thing, though. It actually looks like a good Bethesda game so far. Maybe I'm maybe I'm like coping, but it, it looks good. New planets, exploring every inch of a mostly untouched galaxy. We want you to feel hopeful. We want you to feel this sense of awe and wonder, and sometimes a little fear. We're giving you Can't wait for the sequel. I'm already looking forward to Starfield 2. In 28 years. <laughs> okay, anime time. Be back for PC games. Sound good. Hey everybody, we were showing you so much stuff, but we thought we'd just take a little break and show you something a, a little bit different. You know, we put so much detail into our He's game here. World, and yeah. we love the opportunity to bring that into the real world with our collector's editions. Oh, okay. And for this game, <laughs> uh, we've done a watch. It is the Constellation Explorer's Watch. Um, this is the wow. watch that you actually get in the game that acts as part of your HUD, where it's the compass and then environmental information. It connects to your <laughs> Shit phone armor. You notifications and other information. This is made of canvas. This really cool case that it comes with. Uh, I feel box. like they would not, yeah, after really what happened with Fallout 76, they would not make a, a collector's edition that, game, like, doesn't deliver. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you right now, they would the not risk that in a million years. I just don't care about collector's stuff. It's got an intricate locking mechanism, authentic, heavy, comes with a constellation patch, NATO strap, and the overall functionality and believability of this as something that would exist in the world in the Starfield universe. Oh, and hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And it even tells the time. So I, I can't... I can't wait. Someone's going to make that else. into a meme where he's now handing you a blunt. Xbox, hey, we take get this. We with the amazing people <laughs> on the Xbox hardware team, and together we have created this custom limited edition. He looks Starfield like he's being controller. held hostage. Awesome. I don't know. They it's made it look like... Controller. We love this because it's inspired by the... They made it look like they're in a fucking space station. Not only that, we've created the first ever... Todd looks older. Xbox. And this is a perfect Weird, it's almost like time control. has progressed linearly since the last time they announced the game. Yeah, <laughs> can't wait for the internet historian video. The controller looks kind of cool. Yet again, though, I, I don't care. <laughs> The game looks good. The game looks good. Then again, this is a Bethesda panel. <laughs> you never know. You never know. They showed me the right things, though, that I wanted to see. The real thing will be, like, how it launches, I think. Games, we always put so much care into all those little details that breathe life into our worlds. But Starfield isn't just a Bethesda game. Uh, this is not a trailer. World. This it's is an entire Starfield panel, galaxy. for the record. So why go this big with Starfield? Because we want to give you freedom on a galactic level. The, freedom the game will release by the time it's over. Planet? Starfield is available to play yeah, right planet. now. Universe explodes. Scanning a planet before you land is a great way to get a sneak peek at the available resources you can use. Now the main character is not voiced. And customizing. I think what is cool about this whole system that we we generate the planet itself <laughs> as a procedural content, but I'm not reading that out loud. <laughs> itself comes as the player explore. Our system builds a planet as the player approaches it. We stitch together block of terrain. After that, we have the system that adds interested locations Eric for the player to explore, yeah, yeah, creatures to encounter. Everyone can see back <laughs> me testicles. <laughs> I am to got to get some clothes. <laughs> One particularly mouthy passerby, Holy Moly. His <laughs> whiner is the like a dragon. Whiner. Aggressive creatures have been disrupting Interesting. Our Thank you. Thank you, the TTS Brian. Far from here. If you could take care of them for us, we would be in your debt. So even if your friends were to visit the same planet that you had, you would have a different story to tell. Yeah, no grappling hook. 
that we've seen at least. This is just like raw gameplay. How long does this go? This is like a whole hour of Starfield. I can't it's tell about the actual combat yet. Like it looks fine. I'm not sure I'm I'm not sure I'm blown away by it though. Find? Harvest resources and be on your way. Or simply take in the views. With the help of your scanner, you'll chart the uncharted and discover exotic wildlife. Dude, they're going to show us the whole game at this rate. If you have the skills, you can even figure out that certain creatures and plants you can build an outpost and you think his name is pronounced Cool animals. Man? Kurt you Cool Man. Get experience and rewards yeah, I don't think the combat planets, needs to be amazing in these animals. games. I think it just being good is fine. When we were concepting these creatures, we really wanted to think of them as natural to the environment. We didn't want alien monsters. We wanted native wildlife. The, they look, the designs are really cool. Before. Imagine you when could recruit only exterior, like alien creatures all for your ship. That would be insane. In time through the atmosphere. Our biggest goal for lighting with Starfield was to make the game feel more filmic, to use lighting and color to really make it feel more cinematic. Todd creatures. <laughs> Imagine this is another No Man's Sky. I think the real problem with No Man's Sky was that they didn't show, like, they only showed the game, like, in the absolute, like, best light in those tiny trailers they revealed. There wasn't, like, a ton of gameplay revealed. I feel like this is, like, like, they're showing a lot. Like, if they don't, if they don't deliver on this, like, people are going to be pissed about this hour <laughs> right here, which is possible, but... After some exploring, but I don't know. I, I don't think it's going to be like No Man's Sky. If it flops, it'll be for different reasons, Outpost not because be they just blatantly fucking fabricated this and trailer. <laughs> modules come in all shapes and sizes, filling all different purposes. You can even live in them. Assign crew and companions to work at your outposts for added bonuses, and set up extractors to harvest resources while you're. It's away. like the same thing with Cyberpunk, Something right? What we have this time is we have a new fly cam where you can toggle between on foot building I feel like it's it's not oh there there's camera, like base building too plan out larger parts of the outpost and placing those larger halves so that way you can really plan your structures and what the overall feel of your outpost is and then when you're on your feet you can really decorate and fine tune things much easier Nice I guess I'm not surprised if they have ship building that they have base building too but Yeah, No Man's Sky has been made good. Yeah, I, I just didn't remember the what uh, what all they showed last year, to be honest. This game reminds me of a weird amount of Subnautica. I can kind of see it. At least the Add base building stuff is like the snap snap building, kind of like kind of like Subnautica. Have. I mean, this Modern is kind of like Subnautica to too. To your playstyle, different weapon sights and scopes, larger well, magazines. Not the weapon customization, battles. but different ammunition like explosive rounds. The uh the resource scanning. All you stealth players out there will surely need a suppressor. You can also choose to I'm kinda to hoping that like weapons. when you invade people's like ships and bases and stuff, not not I people as in like players, but just like between, uh, like what's NPCs. What's sim and what's I'm kinda hoping that it has like kinda light immersive what's, sim what's stuff like uh like uh Cyberpunk does. With Starfield, we've completely overhauled our combat. You can be a stealth archer in this game. It's more dynamic. Oh that was kinda cool. It just feels great. It looks eh, okay. Okay, it looks pretty good. In this game I want to say any other game we've done before. I'm sure they're showing the absolute like coolest moments right now, but upgraded gear is just one of the many factors to pay attention to when engaging in combat. You may need better than whatever happened to Fallout 4 weapon design. 
Was it bad in Fallout 4? I Gravity just I, I just remember it being generic, like which I guess is a problem for Fallout. And for giving you an edge in combat. Yeah, I, I think you're right. Sometimes you'll even feel like you're flying. They made them all pipes. Oh yeah, that like the customizable ones were all pipes. That's true. Yeah, the weapon customization was really underwhelming in Fallout 4. Different challenge. Firing I do remember that. Bro, that looks like prey right there. Energy Wait, that's kind of cool. For a more stable shooting experience. We also have mag weapons. Okay. These are high-powered electromagnetic induction ballistic arrays. Each barrel has its own targeting laser and can dish out some serious It's it's damage. growing on me. Like it does again, it doesn't look amazing, but I don't think the combat in this game needed to be amazing. It just needed to be good. Fists. Or you like more compact <laughs> punching the like alien thing. Guns. Or maybe you prefer something bigger. I hope the game has, like, good enemy variety, too. Ooh, the armor looked kind of sick there. They haven't really shown the armor that much. It mostly just looked like spacesuits, but what they showed there looked cool. I like the quick time to kill on the, on the human enemies. I'm glad they're not bullet sponges. Really hope I can play this with a friend. Dave, is this your first time to a Bethesda game? Th these are never, these are never co-op. They literally have never been co-op. And they're better off for it, honestly. He put Clueless? Oh, I, I actually didn't see that. For some reason, my, uh, my better Twitch TV is not working right now. I think it's because I forgot to pay my subscription. <laughs> Oops. Well, 76 was only multiplayer. And yeah, and guess what? It fucking sucked. Dude, they're gonna... They're gonna show the whole game. <laughs> like, Thanks again for being what was that today. at the end? We was that the so force? That you've taken the time and spent it here. I know there was probably a lot to take in. There's a lot to the game, even more than we could show here. That you know, that actually looked like Prey with the like Typhon abilities. That only a game like this can bring. When I think about what makes it special, it really is the people here. This game is a reflection of the incredible. Todd Howard sounds like an AI. He just sounds like All Todd Howard. I think you've just heard too many Todd Howard AI voice it. things. So let's hear some of their favorite moments. I love the way. That our final finally Skyrim in space has come together to create some of the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises we've ever had in any of our games. I love the creatures, the exploration, every biome is different. The word that comes to mind is vast. Vast. I mean, I the like game to looks huge. Mode to take rockstar. Oh, photos. photo mode! Let's go. I just love I like that a good photo mode. Feel of discovery and wow! I can't believe that there's more here. I'm most excited about our outpost building systems. This My game is going to either be the best game of all time or really bad. There's experience. no in between. It's just it's just not possible for anything else to happen. And you see it on the landing pad. These things are gigantic. It's the kind of thing that you just can't get anywhere else. Actually, that's a lie. This game could definitely just be mediocre. I feel like people will get into it, though, because of all the building tools. My favorite part is biomes, spaceships. I think even design, if the game around planets, it is really bad, people will go crazy with the building mode. Diplomacy, exploration, freedom, the ending. Basco. The ending. I love the robot so much. The incredible <laughs> amount of worlds we created. Sniper rifles, come on. Lever action, rocket launcher, brain <laughs> Okay, say less. I'm in. I'm sold. I love, but some people might find creepy. I don't know. I love like them. <laughs> the thing that I enjoy most about the game is the freedom to be who you want to be, do what you want to do. Bro, that robot was running through it's the new Yakuza game. Expect from a Bethesda title, but on a much bigger scale. See, I don't I don't like how much they're focusing on it being bigger, but it does look like it does look on impressive. Of of us, like it's big, but it looks like the world field. is like filled with and shit too for the most part. Moments. And even if there's empty planets, like the building mode will be like a, it'll be like a great canvas for the building mode. Theoretically, you know, it's all speculation, but... 
The ship combat is maybe like the most meh part for me so far. But it should still be fun because you can build your own ship and whatever. Like, even if the combat itself is kind of meh, like, it'll still be fun to just like fly your own ship. <laughs> three weeks before my wedding. <laughs> oh, man. This game comes out three weeks before my wedding. <laughs> I forgot about that. Uh. Isn't the ninth past? It's, no, it's... Flip it. Today's the 11th. Yeah, it came out two days ago. Dave, you missed it. It's September 6th. Oh, I was like, there's more? Oh, they're just gonna recap everything. Avowed looked kind of sick. I hope that game is good. I I've wanted like a... I've wanted an Obsidian hit for a while. And I, I, I liked but didn't love the Outer Worlds. And I know they're already making the Outer Worlds too. That wasn't an announcement, it was just a cutscene. 